Hello? This is one now left. I'm getting to that point in the league. We're at day 13 where I'm looking to switch to my real build. And my real build is Mana Forged Arrows. Now, I am a turtle on League Start. All right? I'm not the hare. I'm, I'm the tortoise. So a lot of people, a lot of you guys start faster than me, make money faster than me. There's a couple veterans out there that are already burning through mirrors. And some of you have gotten ahead of me and are wondering how to make a Mana Forged Arrow Quiver. So I, last night, made two of this quiver in a little under two hours. And I'll, I'll explain to you how I did it. Uh, let's start with a clip. So this is from last night. To give a summary of what I'm doing here, I'm using the graveyard and I am going to fracture two modifiers. I'm going to do minus two explicit mods because baseline they have four. I'm not going to increase the item level because I, I only need item level 83 for this. Um, so minus two explicit means I'm going to roll a mod or an, uh, an item with two modifiers. Okay. Down bottom, you'll see 204% chance to fracture, which means guaranteed both of those modifiers will be fractured. I only went to 228% increased chance for additional item. You can get this to like 500%. I could have made a lot more of these, but I just wanted to have a reasonable chance to get one. I ended up getting two. It comes down to be about 50-50 if you do everything right. So with this, I had odds to get about 1.6, and I ended up getting two. But the summary of what you want to do here is you're going to try to hit flat lightning damage and crit multiplier. So I have all the weighting on crit and lightning up top. And then I have resistance modifiers are significantly scarcer. The reason for this is, the, at least the way I believe this works, is they're additive with each other. So if I have 1750 increased lightning, and then only, say, a 1,000% scarcer res, that means cold and fire res are going to be 1,000% scarcer, but lightning res is going to be 700% more common. So I believe the way you need to get this to work is to have your resistance or scarcer modifier to be significantly higher than your uh, lightning modifiers. Mine's about 1,200 higher. That was pretty safe. And then a bunch of other mods just to, like, you know, target the other mods that can roll on a quiver just to be safe. So attributes is to target decks. Speed is to target prod speed and attack speed. Chaos wouldn't be the end of the world, but I don't want chaos res for what I'm going to do. It'd be okay, but... Uh, fizz for flat fizz damage. Mana for the mana leech. And that pretty much covers it. You need 800 modifier weight to make it so you guarantee hit T1 on all of them. Because there's 9 tiers on lightning damage and everything else has less than 9 tiers. So 800 is enough. So once I hit the button on this, what's going to happen is there is a basically guaranteed chance I hit T1 fractured flat lightning. And then I'm going to hit basically guaranteed a fractured crit suffix which is like around a 50 50 it might be 8,000, 9,000 weight so it might be like 46 54 or whatever of crit multi and crit chance so all in all this is about 13 div and corpses and then the next step for both of these is about eight div in essence so about 21 total i took about 90 minutes to set this up but um you'll see what i get here an hour of that was just learning the graveyard setup because this is my first ever graveyard craft. I'm good with stuff in theory, you know, looking up all like the PoE DB weights and stuff. Like I'm good with that part. I was just learning a little bit on like how like the row column setup and all that works. So I think I truly could have done this in like a half hour if I knew what I was doing already. But so you'll see on this one, I get the crit chance and flat lightning. And then on the other two, you can tell by the name, I hit the mods I wanted, which is flat lightning and crit multi um so the expected number was 1.6 and i got two so that was good um from there the craft is not that bad so what i do here is the hybrid strength int is kind of what you want for like a mirror quiver that's very very expensive to hit especially with veiled chaos costing like six div right now and it not being guaranteed. like this, It's like a 50 div step if you want to hit that. So I just went for Essence. Essence Int until I hit plus one arrow. And then you're done. Because then you just lock Suffix with a Bristle Matron. You reforge Chaos. And then you craft mana. 
it's only 10% chance to um, fill prefixes, and you can start over fairly easily. It's not worth doing the expensive craft because the 10% chance you just reapply the essences and get one arrow, plus one arrow again. Uh, versus, like, the 90% chance would be still cheap, way cheaper or not. So, I basically, I use Bristle Matron and the cheap Chaos reroll. This is a very cheap step. And um, if you look here on Quivers, there's only one Chaos prefix. So, if I select Chaos up top, there's only one. It has 125 weight, and it's only a single tier. And it's pretty much on par with the other tier ones. Like, if you look at, like, tier one cold... It's about equivalent to the, uh, you know, it's slightly higher, but then, like, Chaos usually goes around resistances, so it's, it's about equivalent damage. But it's a guaranteed hit. Uh, and the reason you want the Chaos damage is because your weakness sometimes is you don't have enough Leech when Cloak is down, because all your flat with Widow Hail comes from Cloak. So you really want to get good flat damage prefixes so that you still have good damage when Cloak is down. It's both good quality life for mapping... And for extreme content, it's good because it means you can cap leech for mana and ES even when cloak is down, which is very important for the build not just falling apart. So you get two T1 flat rolls that with Widow Hail get multiplied by three and a half times. So you still have a lot of flat damage when cloak is down. You you have like 400 flat damage when cloak is down or something crazy. It's like 70 plus 50, so it's like 120 times 3.5. Yeah, what is it? So getting all that flat damage on Quiver is just you might not notice it in pob but it's very very important for just overall quality of life and smoothness of the build and then when you're done you just craft mana that's it you want the mana craft because like 54 mana if you get taken times 3.5 is 189 flat mana so if you have like 500 percent increase that's over a thousand mana it's a very big deal um so i ended up crafting both of these in a little under two hours i made another one um, I crafted them both exactly this way for about 21 divs. So it cost me about 10 and a half each plus the time. But like I said, I probably could have got that down if I was a little more used to graveyard. Um, and then I sold the other one. I've seen a lot of quivers that aren't this good being sold for around 100 div. Real cheap ones for 50. Um, I've seen people put way more than 50 div crafting inferior quivers to this. I think this is the best economical method that's still an absolutely insane base. Like, this really only loses to the Mirror Quiver, which, by the way, there is one. Um, but I, I was expecting a 50 Div Quiver as, like, the entry point to Mana Forge Arrows. And I would say this is a spectacular entry point to Mana Forge Arrows. This is kind of more than I would have expected for an entry Quiver. And I think you can craft it for significantly under... 50. I ended up selling, selling the other one instantly for 30. I think that'll be a fair price once you factor in like a little bit of RNG and people actually putting the time into learning the graveyard mechanic and crafting. Uh, but that's still a lot better than like maybe in the last video I talked about a quiver price of around 50 div. I think this is cheaper than that and I think this is higher quality than what I was planning on. So I just want to make this update video on how to craft the Mana Forge vi or quiver. The Mana Forge Arrow quiver. I'll probably have you know link in chat whatever to how to craft this people can reference this and then uh i'll probably be switching to mana forge arrows tonight and then you'll start seeing me put out some mana forge arrow content uh once i'm playing the build i've got some items ready i should be good to go i got a little bit to experiment with but everything else is shaping up good I'm looking to swap the knight. Hopefully this makes your crafting easier to get the quivers ready for a very, very powerful endgame build. I'll catch you guys next time.